Good morning to all grade 8 students. We are now at the 6th week of our class. For this week, we are going to discuss about a linear equation of two variables. For our objectives, we have illustrate the meaning of the slope of a line, find the slope of a given line, or find the slope of a line given two points, equation, and graph. Determine whether a function is linear given the table. Uh, write the linear equation ax plus by equals c in the form y equals mx plus b and vice versa. Graph a linear equation given any two points, the x-intercept and y-intercept, the slope and a point on the line, the slope and y-intercept. And describe the graph of a linear equation in terms of its intercept and slope. Find the equation of a line given two points, the slope and a point, the slope and its intercept, and solve real-life problems involving linear function and patterns. We have here the graphic organizer or yeah the graphic organizer of our topic for this week. Our main topic will be about linear equation in two variables and its subtopic will be about uh, this three rectangular coordinate system equation of a line and its application. And under the rectangular coordinate system we have six parts. For the equation of a line we have the slope and its forms. So this topic is a continuation of our topic in the fifth week. Okay, understand. A linear function and its application. A linear function is defined by f of x is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. m and b is an element of r and m is not equal to zero. The degree of the function is 1 and its graph is a line. Example number 1. If the function f defined by f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 is a linear function, if yes, uh, determine the slope or m because m stands for slope and y intercept or the b. Uh, solution. Uh, yes, the function f is defined by f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 is a linear function. Since the example number two is the function g defined by f of x is equal to negative x a linear function if yes determine its slope and y intercept uh, yes the function g is a lin linear function because it has a degree one since g of x is equal to negative x can be written as uh, g of x is equal to negative one x plus 0. Its slope is negative 1 and y-intercept is 0. Illustrative example number 3. Is the function h is defined by h of x is equal to x raised to 3 plus 5x plus 4 is a linear function? Hmm. The function h is not a linear function because its degree or the highest exponent of x is 3. It's 3, not 1. Have, uh, as you can see, uh, h of x is equal to x raised to 3. So we can call a function a linear function if its uh, exponent or the highest exponent is 1. Because linear function 
always have the highest exponent 1. Uh, let's try this. We're going to translate each verbal sentence into a mathematical equation. Uh, example number 1. 4 times a number increased by 5 is 21. So if we're going to write it in mathematical equation, 4, the word 4. So let's write number 4 times. So multiplication. A number. So let's... Uh, Let's just as if that a number or a number, let's uh, put x. Increase. So, if we say increase, it must be addition. Increase by 5. So, copy 5. Is stands for equal. So, 21. So, the mathematical equation for the verbal sentence is this. 4x plus 5 equals... 21 number two example twice a number is six twice a number is six so let's start from the word twice so when we say twice is you're going to do twice is number two so let's put two a number so let's just uh, say a number is x substitute a number to x is means equal and six so just copy six so the mathematical equation for the verbal sentence is 2x is equal to six number three 25 decrease by twice a number is 12 so copy 25 when we say decrease by it means subtraction Again, we have here next is twice, so 2. A number, so x, and then is is to equals, and then 12, so copy 12. Therefore, it is 25 minus 2x is equal to 12. Next, the difference between twice a number and 9 is 100 so here the difference between so between it means the difference between it means subtraction so thrice a number thrice means three a number so let's say x and then and 9, so copy 9, is stand for equal and then 100. So it, since it states that the difference between tries a number and 9, so let's put the subtraction sign between tries a number and 9. Okay, gets. So its mathematical equation will be 3x minus 9 equals 100. And number 5. The sum of the squares of a number x and 3 yields 25. So when we say the sum, of course, it must be addition. Of the number of the square of a number x and 3. So when we say the square of a number and x. Square means raised to 2. So x raised to 2 plus 3 raised to 2. When we say yield... It means equal. Okay? And then 25. Just copy 25. Therefore, the mathematical equation for the verbal sentence must be uh, x squared plus 3 squared is equal to 25. Linear equations aside from the sets of ordered pairs and the, the graph a linear function f defined by f of x is equal to mx plus b can also be represented by its equation. We have here some question. Uh, does the equation 3x plus 2y equals 6 describe a linear function? If yes, determine the slope and the y-intercept. 
the equation here is our solution the equation 3x plus 2y equals 6 can be solved for y so let's begin with a uh, uh, with uh, solving its y so 3x plus 2y is equal to 6 and addition property of equality we have to uh, subtract both sides by or add both sides by negative 3 3x so cancelled in the left side we're going 3x plus 2y plus negative 3x and the remain remaining will be 2y and then the uh, left our uh, right side 6 plus 3 negative 3x therefore uh, we have to simplify divide both sides by 2 so y is equal to negative 3 negative 3 3 x plus 3 over 2 so the function f of x is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 3 or uh, y is equal to negative 3 over 2x can plus 3 can be expressed in the form 3x plus 2y equals 6 with slope m is equal to negative 3 over 2 while the y-intercept b is equal to 3. A linear equation is an equation in two variables which can be written in two forms. We have the standard form and the uh, intercept form. For the standard form, we have uh, ax plus by equals c where a, b, and c is an element of r, a is not equal to 0, and b is not equal to 0, and slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept m and b is an element of r or real numbers and m must not be equal to zero example number one how do we rewrite the equation 3x plus 5y equals 10 in the form y is equal to mx plus b so let's determine its slope and y-intercept you have here the solution 3x minus 5y equals 10 so this is the given so apply addition property of equality so that we can uh, remove since we are going to solve for the y y intercept to remove x in the left side so we are going to add negative 3 both sides so it will be negative 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 10 in order to uh, cancel out or to get the value here in of y, we're going to divide both sides by negative f 5. Multiplication property of equality. So it will be y is equal to 3x, uh, 3, 3 over 5x minus 2. So the slope here is 3 over 5 and the y-intercept is negative 2. Example number 2. How do we rewrite the equation y is equal to 1 half x plus 3 in the form ax plus by equals c? So we have here our solution. Uh, the given here is y equals one half x plus three and then next step is we are going to use the multiplication property of equality in which we're going to multiply both sides by two so two times y is equal to two y uh, two times one half x will be x and then two times three will be six therefore two uh, y equals x plus 6 so next is we're going to divide our oh, 
mm, add both sides by negative x, what will happen is uh, 2y plus negative x is equal to 6. So to get or to cancel out the negative value of our x, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative x will be positive x. And then, negative 1 times 2y is equal to negative y. And then, equals 1 or negative 1 times 6 will be negative 6. Therefore, if we're going to uh, rewrite the equation y is equal to 1 half x plus 3 in, into standard form, its answer will be x minus 2y is equal to negative 6. Slope of a line. Show at the right side is the Mount Mayon. It is one of the fascinating volcanoes in the Philippines because of its almost symmetrical conical shape. The approximate steepness of the volcano is labeled by the line. The slope of a line can be used to describe how steep Mayon or Mount Mayon is. So a line can be described by its steepness or slope. The slope M of the line can be computed by finding the quotient of rise and run. That is, uh, in order to solve for the slope, we are going to m is equal to rise over run. The rise refers to the vertical change or change in y coordinate, while the run is the horizontal change or change in the y coordinate. That is, m m is equal to rise over run is equal to vertical change over horizontal change is equal to change in y coordinate over change in x coordinate how do we solve or how do you solve the change in y coordinate what about the change in x coordinate so here we have here our uh, example Suppose two points A and B have coordinates uh, 1 and 1 and 2 and 3 respectively. How is right? To arrive at, explain. How is run? 1 arrive at, explain. How or what is the slope? How did you find the slope? How did you find the change in y coordinate? How did you find the change in x coordinate? What have you realized? So express your real realization by completing the box below. If point 1 were in x sub 1 and y sub 1 and point 2 x sub 2 and y sub 2, then the slope m of the line can be computed by the formula m is equal to blank. So the slope m of the line passing through the points is given by m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 or m is equal to y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2 where x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2. Note that a basic property of a line other than vertical line is that its slope is constant the slope of the horizontal line is zero while that of the vertical line is undefined both lines do not represent linear function the value of the slope m tells the trend of the graph if m is positive then the graph is increasing from left to right if m is negative, then the graph is decreasing from left to right. If m is 0, then the graph is a horizontal line. If m is undefined, then the graph is a vertical line. Graphs of a linear function. You have learned earlier that a linear function can be described by its equation. Either in the form y is equal to mx plus b or ax plus by equals c. A linear equation can also be described by its graph. 
graphing linear equation can be done using any of the four me methods. We have using two points, using x and y intercept, using the slope and the y intercept, and then using the slope and a point. Using two points. One method of graphing a linear equation is using two points. In geometry, you learn that two points determine a line. Since the graph of the linear equation is a line, thus, two points are enough to draw a graph of a linear equation. Example, graph the function y is equal to 2x plus 1. You may as assign any two values for x, say 0 and 1, by substitution. So, y is equal to 2x plus 1. If we're going to use first 0, so y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1. y is equal to 0 plus 1. y is equal to 1. For the 1, we're going to use 1. Uh, y is equal to 2x plus 1. y is equal to 2x or 2 times 1 plus 1. So, y is equal to 3. If x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 1. Furthermore, if x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 3. So the ordered pairs are 0 and 1 and 1 and 3. This means that the line passes through this point. After, after finding the ordered pairs of the two points, Plot, the connect, plot and connect them. Your output is the graph of a line of equation. So that's all for our discussion for the, the sixth week. For your quiz and assignment, uh, visit https semicolon guide f that seems or that schools that seems double slash lcms. Thank you for listening and once again, good morning.